Welcome back to our service, our Torah service. We're now using the Torah service, Mahzor. Uh, thank you to our usher, I believe it's Eddie Tao, that will put the link for you of the Mahzor for Kriyata Torah, for the Torah service. And we begin by opening the ark and taking the Torah scroll on page one. Please rise as you are able. Ein kamocha, ein kamocha Ven que más deja, mal deja, mal fuerte, con la labim, o ven chanteja, de todo lado, Adonai, melech, Adonai, malach, Adonai, imloch, leolam voed, Adonai os liamo yitain, Adonai yivarech et amo bashalom. Yeah. 
Master of the universe, fulfill our petitions for happiness. Grant our request to graciously pardon all our iniquities, all the iniquities of our families. Cleanse us from our sins and transgressions. Remember us generously. Be mindful of us and mercifully save us. Remember us for a long and happy life of peace and well-being. Give us food to eat and clothes to wear. Wealth and last length of days to meditate on your Torah to perform its precepts. Endow us with intelligence to understand its deep mysteries or send healing for all our sorrows and bless all our work. Ordain for us good laws of deliverance and comfort. Abolish all evil decrees against us. Inspire the leaders of our government to be good to us. Amen. May it be your will. Amen. Vali te filati lecha adonai ed razon elohi berakas decha aneni aneni v'emegi shecha vani. Tefillati lecha Adonai ed ratzon Elohim berachas decha aneini aneini v'emed yishecha vani tefillati lecha. In a few moments, we will begin to read the Torah, and it will outline the ancient scapegoat ritual, which was conducted by Aaron, the high priest on Yom Kippur. And despite the fact that this ritual is a very specific temple-centered ritual, based in a type of animal sacrifice and worship that is deeply foreign to us, the ritual is described by the Torah as a chukat olam, an eternal ritual. 
How can a ritual, which is no longer, that we no longer engage in, be eternal? The medieval commentator Sforno explains that the words hukat olam mean that even when the temple is destroyed and animal sacrifice is no longer possible, the very day of Yom Kippur will be our atonement. That regardless of our circumstance on any particular year, a world without the sights and smells of a temple in Jerusalem, or a world without the warmth and sounds of a packed temple Beth Zion, it's still Yom Kippur. Even on Zoom, maybe especially on Zoom, there's space for our hukat olam, our eternal ritual. We will be forgiven as we always are. So what makes the ritual of Yom Kippur eternal is not the location, it's not even the words, it's us. We're the ones that take the description of the ritual from the Torah. We study it, we let it enter our heart, we turn it, we debate the words of Torah. This afternoon at Mincha will protest the words of Torah. And at the end of this process, we find the exact Torah we need to perform our ritual on this sacred day. We've added yet another chain to the Chukat Olam, the eternal ritual of Yom Kippur. So soon we'll be offering two options to allow Torah to wash over us. In this service, we'll have the Torah reading beautifully chanted by many TBZ members from their homes. And in a second Zoom room, a link will be dropped into the chat momentarily. I will be leading an interactive conversation about the themes of this morning's parsha. How will we use these words and find meaning in this Yom Kippur for our own time? Both experiences will last about the same amount of time so that we can have a break before Musaf. Amen. Holy one of blessing, your presence fills creation. You've sanctified us with your mitzvot and you've commanded us to cultivate the presence of mind and a posture of openness towards the sacred words of Torah. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Yeshir Koach to Tyler. So Tyler literally is leaving the sanctuary to go uh, to open, to begin the Torah study in the community room, Zoom room. And we will have TBZ members reading Torah, Joshua Blue Wolf, Molly Silver, Alan Weisner, Reggie Silverberg, Susie Rodenstein, and Ronnie Levine. While Rav Tiferet will follow the words of the Torah reading from the Sefer Torah, from the Torah scroll. Uh, we will be spotlighting for a moment the Torah reader at home and, uh, and Rav Tiferet here. Um, if you have a preference, you actually can pin the video you want to watch. If you want to be looking only at the Torah, you can pin the Torah and still hear the words of Torah or the Torah readers, or you can follow uh, what we are doing here. The Torah reading begins on page seven. The first Aliyah is the book of Baikra, chapter 16, verses one to six, and Joshua Bluewolf will read for us. Vayidaber Adonai el Moshe acharei mot shnei b'nei Aharon v'karvatam nifnei Adonai v'yamutu v'yomer Adonai el Moshe daber el Aharon achicha v'al yavor b'chol eit el hakodesh mibeit la parochet el pnei hakaporet Asher al Haron velo yamut, ki ve anan era e al hakaporet. Bezot yavo Haron el hakodesh, befar ben makar, lechatat va ail le olaha. Ketonet pat kodesh il bash, umichnes evad yu al besaro. Uvab net bad yakor, uva mitznafet bad yitz no, big de kodeshem, rahat bamaim, et pesaro, ulevesham, ume et adat pene yitzael, ikah, shne si reizim le hatahat, vaile hahad le olaha. Vikrivaron et parachatat ashelo, vikhiper bado, uva 
ועד ביתו. יישר כוח לג'וש, ושנית עלייה, מולי סילבר, הוא יקרא לויטיקוס 16, ורסס 7-11. ולקח את שני האסירים, והעמיד אותם לבני אדוני פתח אוהל מועד, ונתן ארון על שני הסירים גורלות, גורל אחד לאדוני וגורל אחד לעזאזל. והקריב אהרון את השעיר אשר עלה עליו, הגורל אדוני ועשהו חטאת. והשעיר אשר עלה עליו הגורל עזאזל יום עד חי לפני אדוני לכפר עליו לשלח אותו לעזאזל המדברה והקריב אהרון את פר החטאת אשר לו, וכיפר בעדו ובעד ביתו, ושחט את פר החטאת אשר לו. וסרט עלייה, יש לכוח את מולי, סרט עלייה, אלן וייסנר will read chapter 16 verses 12 to 17. ולקח מלוא המחתגח לאש מעל המזבח מלפני אדוני ומלוא חפניו קטורת סמים דרכה והביא מבית לפרוכת ונתן את הקטורת על האש לפני אדוני וכיסה ענן הקטורת את הכפורת אשר על העדות ולא ימות ולקח מדם הפר ויזה באצבעו על פני הכפורת קדמה ולפני הכפורת יעזה שבע פעמים מן אדם באצבעו ושחט את סיר החטאת אשר לעם והביא את דמו אל מבית לפרוכת ועשה את דמו כאשר עשה לדם הפר ביזה אותו על הכפורת לפני הכפורת וכיפר על הקודש מטומאות בני ישראל ומפשעיהם לכל חטאותם וכן יעשה ליהל מועד השוכן איתם בתוך טומאותם וכל אדם לא יהיה באוהל מועד בבואו לכפר בקודש עד צאתו וכיפר בעדו ובעד ביתו ובעד כל קהל ישראל. אשר כוח תועל על הנקסט עלייה Aliyah 4, chapter 16, verses 18 to 24, Reggie Silverberg will read. מדם הפר ומדם השעיר ונתן אגנן המזבח סביב והיזה הלך 
Yesher Koach to Reggie, the next Aliyah is the fifth Aliyah, 1625 to 30, Susie Rodenstein. ZANG <laughs> יבואו אל המחנה, ואת פר החטאת, ואת שעיר החטאת, אשר הובא את דמם לכפר בקודש, יוציא אל מחוץ למחנה, ושרפו ובאש את אורותם ואת בשרם ואת פרשם, והשורף אותם יכבס בגדיו ורחץ את בשרו במים. ואחריכן יבואו אל המחנה, והיית לכם לחוקת עולם בחודש השביעי, בעשור לחודש תענו את נפשותיכם, וכל מלאכה לא תעשו, האזרח והגר הגר בתוככם, כי ביום הזה יכפר עליכם לטהר אתכם. מכל חטאותיכם לפני 
Adonai titaru. Yesher Koach Susi, and the Six Aliyah, chapter 16, verses 31 to 34, Ronnie Levin. Shabbat Shabbaton Hilachem, Vinitem, Et Nafshotechem, Hukata Hukat Olam, Sefi Peher Hakohein, Asher Yimshakota. Asher Yimalayet Yadaho, Lechachem. Takad Aviv, Belavash, Et Big Day Habad, Big Day Akodesh, Bechiper, Et Midash, Akodesh, Viet Ohel, Moed, Misaya. Yehapel, <laughs> Lecha <laughs> Yashar Koach to Ronnie and to all our Torah readers, I offered for them a blessing and Mishaberach. For them, our Torah readers, and all those who have participated in our services. Mishaberach, Avoteinu, Avram, Yitzchak, Yaakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Velea, Uyabarech, et kol ele, Shakaru, Batora, Kadu, Baftara, Ishtatfu, Betfilotenu. ושבאו היום לכבוד המקום, לכבוד התורה, לכבוד יום הדין, הקדוש ברוך הוא ישמור אותם, את כל משפחותיהם, וישלח ברכה והצלחה וכל מעשה דעיהם, ויכתבם ויחמתם לחיים טובים ביום זה, וזה יום הדין, עם כל ישראל לחייהם, ונאמר אמן. May the one who bless our ancestors, bless all those who have participated in so many different ways in our services, reading Torah after a, being ushers online and in person, preparing, helping, volunteering. What an amazing community we have. Without you, we couldn't do this. And may the Holy One bless you, protect you, all of you, your entire families bring blessing. Success to all the works on their hands. Describe them and seal them for a good life on this day of judgment, together with all their fellow Jews. And let us say, Amen. I add to this a prayer for healing. We'll say a prayer for healing now, and I invite you to say the names of the people you would like to pray for, Mishaberach. Avoteinu Avram Yitzchak Yaakov, Sarah, Rivka, Rachel, Velea, Uyevarech, et kol acholim. Remove from them sickness, heal their bodies, forgive their transgressions, send them blessing, good fortune to all the work of their hands, as well to all their siblings, the people of Israel and the whole world, and let us say, Amen. El na refana la, el na refana la, el na refana la refua shlema. Prayer for our country. God of God of our ancestor, with mercy, accept our prayer. On behalf of our country and its government, pour out your blessing upon this land, upon this leader, its judges, officers, and officials who we hope are devoted in good faith to the needs of the public. 
instruct them with the laws of Torah and help them understand the rules of justice so that peace and security, happiness and freedom will never, ever depart from our land. We pray Adonai, who God's spirits in all creatures awaken their spirit of all the inhabitants of our land. Approach from their heart hatred and malice, jealousy and strife. May it be your will that our land be a blessing to all who dwell on earth and cause them to dwell in friendship and freedom. Speedily fulfill the vision of your prophet. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. For all them, from the least of them to the greatest, shall know me. And let us say, Amen. Amen. And a prayer for the state of Israel. Avinu shebashamayim tzur Israel begoalo barech et medinat Israel sheteheh rashit smichad geulatenu. Again, Alea, shield it with your love, spread over it the shelter of your peace, guide its leaders and advisor with your light and your truth. Help them with your good counsel, strengthen their hands of those who defend our holy land, deliver them from their efforts with triumph, bless the land with peace and its inhabitants with lasting joy. And let us say, Amen. Amen. We rise as the Torah is lifted and dressed. You may be seated. We're about to read the Yom Kippur Aftarah. And the goal of reading an Aftarah is not just to add extra section of the Bible to our service, some more Hebrew, some more chanting, but rather to acknowledge and to recognize the voice of people 2,000 and 3,000 years ago that were our prophets. Prophets like Isaiah, who raised their voices when they found injustice, who spoke for the most vulnerable, for the widow, the sojourner, and the orphan, who remind us that we are all created in the image of God. Rabbi Lauren Holtzblatt, in her magnificent eulogy to Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg this past week at the Supreme Court, said, to be born into a world that does not see you, that does not believe in your potential, that does not give you a path for opportunity or a clear path for education, and despite this, to be able to see beyond the world you are in, to imagine that something can be different, that is the job of a prophet. And it is the rare prophet 
who not only imagines a new world, but also makes that new world a reality in her lifetime. This was the brilliance of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Zichronali Rabracha. Rabbi Holtzlat continued, and I quote her, the Torah is relentless in reminding us and instructing and commanding that we never forget those who live in the shadows, those whose freedom and opportunity are not guaranteed. 36 times we are taught that we must never forget the stranger. 12 times we are told to care for the widow and the orphan. This is one of the most important commandments of the Torah. It is the Torah's call to action. It is also the promise written in our constitution. As Justice Ginsburg said, and Rabbi Holtzfeld quoted, think back to 1787, who were the people? They certainly weren't women. They certainly weren't people held in human bondage. The genius of our constitution is that now over more than 200, sometimes turbulent years, that we have expanded and expanded. This was Justice Ginsburg's life work to insist that the constitution deliver on its promise that we, the people, will include all the people. End of the quote. In the book of Isaiah, which will be soon here chanted by Sarah Smolover, the Aftarah begins with a call to rebuild the road, to remove any blocks or obstacles that are in, way, in the way so that God's people can live in freedom. The prophet raises his voice crying out loud and clear that religious ritual without moral action does not achieve the goals of a fast day. The text is one of the most radical teachings our tradition offers regarding Yom Kippur. On a day focused on self-reflection by means of prayer and fast, we are told in no uncertain terms that we have a moral obligation to act in the world and that our fast is meaningless, meaningless, if we do not listen to this message. This is the religion Isaiah teaches. Feel, feed the hungry, clothe the naked, house the homeless, heal the wounded. Rabbi Jordan Brownick, dear friend of our community, explains and imagines Isaiah in 2020 saying the following. If we abstain from food, but don't fight fascism in our midst, then we are not doing it right. If we refrain from drinking, but ignore the glaring inequities of our society, then we are not doing it right. If we beat our chest in synagogue, but stay silent about systemic racism, then we are not doing it right. If we join together to break the fast with our families and don't think of the families torn apart by an unjust immigration system, then we are not doing it right. Before we hear the call of Isaiah, I'm going to invite you all to hear the call of TBZ member James Cohen, who calls and cries out loud and pray for our commitment to racial justice here at TBZ, this Yom Kippur, and this year. May our fast be meaningful. May the prophet Isaiah and the prophet Justice Ginsburg continue to inspire us. We promise to carry your legacy. Yehi Ratzon Milfanecha, may it be your will. May it be your will that this year be the year that racial justice takes root in our country in our Jewish community, and here in our synagogue. May it be your will that this year I not fear for my black son's safety as we walk past police into Jewish communal spaces. May it be your will that this year be the year we no longer hear the question, how are you Jewish? 
as if my children's skin color could possibly influence their connection to Hashem. May it be your will that this year be the year that when my child tells me a young lady of the Jewish day school has a crush on him, that I can celebrate rather than fear the racism he might face when brought home to meet the parents and his deep, burnished, ebony skin doesn't match their expectations for their daughter. May it be your will that this year be the year that I no longer hear in our Jewish community any opposition to the simple statement, black lives matter, as if any argument with this statement could ever coexist with the concept of B'Tselem Elohim, that each of us is created in God's image. May it be your will that this year be the first year we don't hear from our own bima about the blacks and the Jews, as if these are separate groups of people, as if there aren't black Jews sitting here in the pews, their own lives and humanity denigrated and made invisible from this statement. May it be your will that this year be the year that our sacred kahila rises up as one to demand racial justice. May it be your will that this be the year that our country rises up and rejects the white supremacist vitriol that has inspired so much violence currently emanating from the highest office in the land. May it be your will that this be the year that every single synagogue has a banner outside like ours, proclaiming pro proudly that we believe in the humanity of black folks. May it be your will that this be the year that not one more unarmed black American is murdered by the police. Kenya Hiratson. Yahi Ratson, Ken Yahi Ratson. And with that, we hear the words of Isaiah chanted by Sarah Smolover, page 13, the Aftara. The Amahar Solu Solu Panu Darach, Harimu Michshol Miderachami, Ki Choama Rambanisa. Shochenad vekadosh shemo, maron vekadosh eshkon, beyadaka ushva ruach, lahachayot ruach shvalim, ulahachayot lev nikahim, ki lo leola mariv, velo la netzach ektov, ki ruach milfana ya atov, Uneshamo dani asiti, Bavon bits o katsav tiva akehu, Hasterek zov, Bayelek shova, Vaderek libo, Draha vrahiti ver paehu, Van hehu, Vashalem nehumim, Love la ave love. Bore nibs vataim, shalom shalom, la rahok velakarov, amaradonai or fativ, vahashahim kayam nigrash, ki hashkeit lo yuchal, vigroshume mav refesh vatit. There is no peace, so says Adonai, for the wicked ones. Cry out at full volume, don't hold back. Like a shofar, lift up your voice. Kra begaron al tachshoch, kashofar heram kolecha. Ve'aged le'ami pish'am, u'leved ya'akov chatotam. Velti Yom Yom Yidroshun Vedat Rachai Yechpatsun Kegoi Asher Tzdaka Asa Umishpat Elohav Lo Azav Isha Aluni Mishpate Tzedek Kirvat Elohim Yechpatsun Lama Tzamnu Velo Raita why have we fasted and you have not seen it? Afflicted our souls and you take no notice. 
This is why in the day of your fast you seek your own pleasure and all your workers you exploit. Hain la rivu matza tatsumu ula hakot begrof resha lo tatsumu chayom la hashmia bamarom kochem. Is not this the fast that I have chosen? Break open the shackles of wickedness, undo the bonds of the crushed ones. Let the oppressed go free and every yoke break open. Is it not to share with the hungry your bread, the poor and the outcast to bring to your house? When you see the naked, you cover him from your own flesh, don't hide yourself. Then there will burst forth like the dawn your light and your healing will quickly spring forth. Then when you call, the Lord will answer. When you cry, God will say, Hineni. Im tasir mi tochecha mota, shlach etzba v'daber haven. V'tafek l'raev nafshecha, v'nefesh nana taspiya. V'zarach b'choshech orecha, v'faletcha b'tzohorayim. V'nachacha Adonai tamid. V'hispiya b'tzachtachot nafshecha, v'atmotecha yachalitz. V'hayita kegan raveh, Kamotza maim, Ashelo yachazvu mehemav. Uvanu mimcha charvot olam, Moste dor vador tekomem. Vekora lecha go der peretz, Mishovev netivot la shavet. Im tashiv mishabat raglecha. Asod chafatzecha beyom kochi, the karata la shabbat oneg, and call the Sabbath day a day of delight. Lik do shadonai mechubad, vichibarato me asot rachacha, mimzo chafetzcha vidmit, mimzo chafetzcha vidaber davar. Az tita nag al Adonai v'hirchav ticha b'matei aharetz v'achal ticha nachalat Yaakov avicha ki pi Adonai diber. Yesher koach to Sarah. We return the Torah to the Ark. Page 12. Please rise as you are able. Hallelujah, Vishon Mahayim, Vayorem Kereliamo, Tila Lechol Hasidav, Livne Yisrael Am Kirovo, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Eis Chayim Hi, Lemachazikimba, Vetom Heha. Shalom, Hashirenu 
We now take a um, break uh, before Musa, which will begin at 12 noon. Um, and you can stay on the Zoom. There will be music there to accompany you. We encourage you during this time, and it's a little longer than when we thought um, for the next 20 minutes, to really um, use this time to stretch, to take a short walk, to sit silently, um, to really take so many words in and um, get ready for the next part. So we'll meet again at 12 for Musaf Gmartov. <laughs> 